Yes. Thank you, Commissioner. Look, I can come back if I'm interrupting. No, um, it's fine. Uh, Detective West, what can I do for you? You wanted to be kept up to speed on the case against Dr. Clay? Yes, I do, yes. Has there been a development? Yeah, you could say that. If Dr. Clay's killed again. So, Dr. Clay has killed again? What, what are you, he hasn't been arrested, so this is speculation on your part, isn't it? For now, but the NYPD's got some serious questions for him. All right, so tell me exactly what happened then. Dr. Clay's in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a friend from the NYPD follow him. I came down there to ask Dr. Clay about the reasons for his trip, and when I get there, there's an ambulance taking Henry Nakamura. He's the key witness in the case against Dr. Clay to the hospital. And he didn't make it. Do they suspect foul play? Well, not officially, yet. But the investigation's ongoing. Now, on the surface, it looks like a suicide. But you're not convinced? It, no, the man died of an apparent overdose from a prescription he's taken every day for the last 10 years. Wow. That sounds familiar. It's the same M.O. as what happened to Dr. Clay's wife. All right, let, let me just get... This is just for me. Mr. Nakamura is the same pharmacist that filled the prescription for the medication that caused Nina Clay's OD. Right. Okay, and, and that prescription was written by Dr. Clay for himself on his script the same day that his wife OD'd. Exactly. So Henry Nakamura was the pivotal witness in the case against Silas Clay, and now he just ends up staying in the same hotel? Yeah, yeah, that's quite a coincidence. Yeah, I know. I tracked Dr. Clay and Samantha Morgan to a bar called Ryan's. It's across the street from the hotel where Nakamura died. Uh-huh. Uh, now, it turns out that they had set Ava Jerome's mom up to meet Nakamura there. Well, what does her mother have to do with any of this? Clay used Mrs. Coleridge to lure Nakamura to Manhattan through some dating website. He was supposed to meet her there that afternoon. Well, what does Dr. Clay say about Nakamura's death? What did well, he, he say? Well, he denies it, of course. Uh -huh. hey, Samantha Morgan tried to give him an alibi, but Ava Jerome's ditzy mom let the real story slip. Which is what? There was a period of time when Dr. Clay was on his own. Ms. Morgan left him at the hotel. Where Nakamura was staying. Exactly. Now, Dr. Clay claims that he was on the phone during this time with a patient. Have we spoken to the patient? No, nah, Clay won't give me a name. He says he has to protect his patient's privacy. Well, he does, you know. I wasn't trying to get any medical information out of him. I just wanted to confirm his alibi, but he won't budge. I mean, can we get a warrant, pull his phone records? We could, yes, that's doable. Unless he used a landline, I guess, you know, he might have. It's also entirely possible that this patient doesn't exist. <sighs> Uh, yeah, even if Dr. Clay is lying about that, it doesn't make him guilty. Look, Clay is working overtime to deflect suspicion on it. He even tried to blame his former mistress again. Well, Dr. Clay and Sam are always claiming that Ava Jerome was trying to frame him for his wife's attempted murder. So could there be any merit in this new accusation? Supposedly, Ava Jerome was in the city at the same time as Nakamura's overdose, visiting but her mother, Delia Coleridge. That's a huge coincidence. No more a coincidence than Silas Clay staying behind at the hotel at the same time as Nakamura's overdose. True. You know what worries me? It's just that you are so invested in finding Dr. Clay guilty of his wife's attempted murder that you might be blind to any other possible suspects. Yeah, but it, Clay is the one with the motivation here. He was his wife's sole heir. He stood to inherit a fortune when she died. But love is a very strong motivator. You know, I mean, wasn't Ava involved with Silas at the time that his wife OD'd? Maybe she wanted his wife out of the picture. You know, I mean, what, Ava was carrying his child at the time. Look, permission to speak freely? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> maybe, maybe I am focused on getting Silas Clay. Yeah. Is it possible that maybe you're doing the same thing with Ava Jerome? What does that mean? Look, with respect, I did my homework. I researched Ava and her family extensively, and I know about your history with the Jeromes, her brother Julian in particular. Yeah. I do have a history with the Jeromes. And uh, my suspicions about Ava, I, I have from experience. <laughs>